11 o'clock at night on a Thursday night. And I just got home from work slash holiday party. I guess you can call it holiday party, even though we're way past the holiday season. I still have the wristband on. It was fun. This was my second year attending. I'm grateful that I get to go again this year. This year was not as, uh, the music wasn't as great as last year because last year, like it was turned, like it was lit. They got Cardi B last year, they got Migos, they got, I think they got Lil Uzi Vert as well last year. This year it was sad because I don't know what happened to the DJ. I don't know what happened to the, the producers over there. They really tamed it up. I guess it's a work thing, so. The only song that I, I knew was Cardi B's I Like It, and I think they played Mi Gente and Single Ladies. I think that's it. That's it. The rest of them, I'm just like, what century am I in? Because I'm pretty sure I was not born yet. There were a lot of uh, people from the office, obviously, it's an office party. There were a lot of people who I've never met before that I met tonight, didn't know that they can dance. But I had a really fun night with Ayana and Jim, um, our other coworker. Yana was like, she's awesome. Like she can do any kind of dance move and like I'm basically learning from her. And it was really fun. about it today I still have to shower um, but tomorrow I actually have a really long commute to work um, to be at a site tomorrow uh, in, somewhere in Brooklyn I don't even know what location that is like Brooklyn to me is just all a mush right now so I gotta do that tomorrow but I get to see my old teammates so that'll be fun I'm gonna get to see Pat tomorrow I'm so tired I don't know if you guys can tell but I got high bags now. Maybe it's an old thing. Maybe it's a tired thing, but I don't like it. An interesting thing happened on the subway. There was a music philosopher. I guess he's like a professor because he looked like a professor. And there was this other guy who's, I think he's trying to be an artist like in the music industry. So I, I'm calling him a rising artist. I don't know if he's any good, but he was very into it. And they're like the music professor and the rising artist are strangers. And all of a sudden I hear like, you know, conversations and I'm like, these two people do clearly don't know each other, but they're having an amazing conversation. So I was kind of eavesdropping and they were talking about how um, the professor was telling the rising artists how to like stay true to yourself, how to write good music and also how to make sure your lyrics are spoken and not read. That hit me really hard because I'm like, that is deep. Music is to me a very important thing. Like I grew a uh, classically trained violin, which I forgot already. Also um, in, in vocals. I love singing. God, was that a bug? And so when he was talking about it, I was like, wow, this is an amazing conversation. And after the music professor left, I actually chatted up with the rising artist and like, like I have so much respect for both these guys and I just wish the best for him. One day I know this guy will blow up. I just want to remember that, you know, I'm going to end the vlog. See you in the next one. But tomorrow's Friday. So um, see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.